Hey everybody, this is Tristan Allen Myers. He went missing today in 2000 from Roseboro, North Carolina. He would be 28 years old. The age progression photo, which is located right here on the flyer. And I'm gonna show you a better one in a second. Um, his photo is age progressed only to 19 years old. He was last seen walking near his home and may have been walking with a tan chihuahua and a black Doberman. The dogs have been located at the time of his disappearance. Tristan was wearing a black t-shirt, blue jeans, and white tennis shoes. He has a scar on the left side of his neck. His full name is Tristan Allen Myers, but he also uses the nickname Buddy. He may be in need of medical attention. This is one of the most recent articles. I'm going to play for you. Wake up ready to tackle your next adventure with the Ghost Bed RV mattress. Sleep in style and enjoy luxury. This is four-year-old Buddy Myers. He's been missing now for 24 years. He would turn 28 years old next week. But he vanished from a home in Sampson County in 2000. Now, 24 years later, there is no body and no answers. Today, a local man told WREL he has a new lead in the case. He spoke with WREL's Chelsea Donovan. Tristan! From the ground and in the air, the search for Tristan Myers, known as Buddy, was extensive. I think he was probably taken because that area was very thoroughly investigated. It's a puzzling case, one with no answers 24 years after Buddy left his family's rural Roseboro home. He was a wanderer. He just walked out the front door. While his great aunt Donna, his guardian, took a nap, Buddy took these two small dogs out on a walk. The dogs come back. But Buddy didn't. For months, authorities searched all across Sampson County for him, but came up short. As long as there's prayer, there's hope, and I will not let go of that. 24 years later, much of that hope lies with Al Mignacci, as Buddy's mother and aunt have passed away. I've had kids, and uh, I know how I would feel about mine if mine were missing. Al is a volunteer who has been working on this case extensively. You know, his birthday is coming up on the 16th. And I still want him to be remembered. I don't want him to be forgotten. Tuesday, Buddy would turn 28. McNatchy says while there are still no signs of him, he's got a new lead. What's the lead? That he has been in that area, possibly. McNatchy says he's got a tip. Buddy could be alive and may have been sighted in Ohio. It's always good to to uh, put something to rest, to, 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 co to close the case. If you have any information on the case of Buddy Myers, he's still listed on several websites. And this picture here is what he would look like now. You're urged to call the SBI or the Sampson County Sheriff's Office. Chelsea Donovan, WREL News. Buddy Myers has a scar across his neck and his head. He also has a speech impediment, according to authorities. And I'm going to show you that picture a little bit bigger. All right. So if you have any information, please call 1-800-THE-LOST or your local law enforcement or call 911. Do not approach. Usually is the best case scenario. Um, also, please remember to hit the like button. Comment below and share this out so we could get this back in the algorithm and maybe that will catch somebody's attention and bring Buddy home. Thank you guys for watching and as always, have a great night and sending love and light. Love you all. Bye.